Hi there. So I've decided that uh, putting together the, a video like this is probably one of the best ways for me to show you something that's really frustrated me in the past. So I would ask you, how many times have you actually gotten a dark image, like this one's obviously I forced it to be dark, and wanted to paint in areas like this, only to find that it's really dark and you need to lighten it. So what a lot of people do is they lighten it and they color pick and they paint in a new layer, of course, and then they do this and they paint. Okay, I paint out this and I need to put in this and that, you know, and these techniques I've you you know I found out from actually matte painting many years ago. And uh, so now you say, okay, well, you know, that's great. You know, that's I've been able to paint in these areas and, and I like the painting. You turn it off your color is now completely off because you've color picked on an image that's been brightened obviously that makes a lot of sense so now you're wondering well what do I do and in the matte painting days and I still remember when I was matte painting on Hellboy um, I was working in the uh, underground sequence and it was extremely dark and what we had to do was put a level like this have a and then have a layer that you would paint and then have another levels to negate this level um, adjustment and that to me just seemed really ridiculous I mean I don't understand how that's actually even a, a viable option but that's what we did because there is no other choice um, so then I said that there has to be so what I did was I snooped around in my video card because I figured it had to be hardware so if for those of you with a NVIDIA this will work great um, you know and I'll show you how to do it uh, for those of you with other video cards I'm still I think these things do exist uh, you may need to do some digging anyway so um, you would go to the end uh, here I'll start from scratch you go to end view properties and then you enable the uh, desktop manager um, so you, you let that run for a couple minutes um, well, okay there you go and you click on the hotkeys tab, all right. And I, I'm just gonna take these. I'm gonna just remove them really quickly, so I can we can just start from scratch. So, so what you want to do is you go to scroll down to display settings, and you go whatever you want. Adjust display gamma, add. I I say I use Control Two for this. Okay, you see this right here. It's just it tells you it's done that. You go to another one, you say come contrast, add, control three, okay. And then you go to um uh you go I, I usually set control one to reset. So you add control one. And so now control one resets the gamma back to original. Um and display contrast, display gamma is respectively control two and control three. Um so you make sure you click OK. So now the adjustments have taken into place. Now I'll come back to the same dark image and I I'll zoom into this area and now I'm able to just hit two and I'm gamma I have just gammaed it up, you know, essentially. Now I can just comfortably um, paint in these areas and color pick to my heart's content and it's no problem and I can go more I can go more contrast I can reset it back to how it was and you see it's seamless well except for that spot um, because it was the previous stuff but now I don't need you know I don't do a whole lot of matte paintings anymore I, I mainly do conceptual paintings but now you can actually um, color pick without having a problem and brighten uh, and you know up the contrast as you as you please and this also helps a lot when you're working you know for matte for those of you who are matte painters um, or concept painters who are wondering why their atmosphere is kind of you know off um, why there are some things wrong um, you can up this and it's a really good way if you up the contrast and up the gamma to check um, for black values that are off and for colors that are off because in a dark scene sometimes um, colors tend to just kind of um, 
wash into the scene and it's dark and you feel like there's something wrong but you don't really know what well this will make it so that you could see very clearly what's right what's wrong um, and, and and it'll be really in your face and you can fix it a lot easier and I can I can just fix it right here let's say this area right here I, I just wanna you know come in and you know I, I just wanna make it a little bit more hazy and then I wanna you know paint some stuff into it you know if I, if I wanna just whatever I want to do here you know and let's just say all these these black values are off and you know I just want to paint this out like that you know. so it's really easy to do hard to see any difference right now but it's just a tool for you to use for your dark scenes um, and I, I, I use this all the time and it saved me many many times because um, I can actually see into areas that I can paint so anyway hope you enjoyed it I uh, hope this helps uh, it's helped me a great deal so thanks